Good morning, everyone. It's a little after five o'clock here. My uncle's gone today, so I got to feed cows. We got the first group up at milk now. So I'll go through the scrape and then start mixing feed. So now I got done scraping my first batch, first group that's up getting milked. And my next task is I gotta go up my feed lines and scoop up all my old feed left over. I already did the group on the right. They had 250, 300 pounds left over. These here probably got 150 pounds. So it's August 6th here. So I got my five groups here on the top. So I had 100 pounds left over in my fresh cows. The pit barn had 300, 100. The hoop barn here had 300 and 100 also. So the fresh cows had 100 pounds left over. They get bumped from 2,000 pounds to 2,200. So they get 200 more pounds. And that should put us in that two to 300 pounds range. If it's not right tomorrow, we'll adjust it from there and increase or decrease it if need be. The second pen of cows here, we got 10,600 pounds yesterday and they had 300 pounds left over, which is perfect. So we'll leave it as that. This one is down a little bit, so they got 200 more. They stay the same. These also get 200 more. It comes to uh, 39,000 pounds of feed. I have to do three batches. So I just do three 13,000 pound batches to keep it even. Now right, let's get steer and start mixing it up. Here's my ration sheet I use for putting in the skid steer. So I get 13,000 pounds and we do pre-mixes. So like my cotton seed, protein, and haylage all mixed together in a pile. So that's this right here. And then my dry corn, ear corn, and gluten. So dry corn is what comes out of the bin. We'll grind that up. Ear corn is when we put a combine head on the chopper. So that's the difference between that and corn silage is this has a lot more kernels in there versus stems. It's a little more of a hotter feed. It's basically your high moisture corn. corn. And then gluten, which is an ethanol byproduct. We'll mix all three of these together. And then that's my second pile. And then my third ingredient is just straight corn silage, which makes up the most amount. And that's on the far pile. So we'll do as a running total, so I'll fill until I get to 3720. From this pile here, move to the next pile, and get to 7430. And then go to the corn silage pile for the last little bit. So we get feed dumbed down for all the milk cows now. These ladies were the first group to get milked. On the far side, they're getting milked now, so they're coming back. They got feed to eat now. Uh, once they get back from milking, they eat, then they go lay down. And now we'll take care of all the heifers and the dry cows. And then we'll come back and give them the rest of their ration. So now I got two batches of heifers to do. I think one of dry cows. We got a breeding heifer and a young stock heifer. And then far off dry cows, those are all over it. My two older brothers farm places. We got a payloader that works a lot better for this. That's got alternator problems. And I think I might be due for some new tires here. Hopefully they last till winter. So now my ration sheet, they get 4,000 pounds. So they got a little bit of straw, some protein, gluten, hay, corn silage. So here's our large pen of breeding heifers. Probably got 150 here. So I'll feed them on the feed bunks. We got bunk along the west here and the north half. We also still use both the silos. It's my grandpa's job of feeding that. That's a lot more, if we just feed them on the silos, they'd get fat just because straight corn silage versus here. 
I got like three or four buckets worth of straw. Oh, there's some red here. At first, we got a bowl at home that's got half a dozen red heifers. So anyone that's a red and white Holstein or red and white carrier or some crossbred will go to that red bull for a month or two, get a cycler or two to try and breed them there. And then they'll come up here and get bred if they're not bred yet, or else they'll stay here until they're ready to calf. They also got 40 acres of pasture out that they can go to. They're all like, what the world are you doing? We want their feet. So I got all my heifers and dry cows taken care of. And I'm on my final batch of milk cow TMR. I just got the a little bit left for the pit barn to dump. And then after that, I'll mix up a pre-mix of my hay, protein, and cotton seed. And I'll bring up some more corn silage. We're feeding off the backside of the pile. And I don't have enough concrete space there to put all my pre-mix piles. So I just carry it around one load a day or so. That way I don't have to make so many trips with the skid steer. Jersey. That's one of my brothers owns that breed. Here's a tame red white one. Not even a fair cow or anything, she's just tame. And this red one here, it's a milking shorthorn. That's breed that I own. And there's another one I tamed. But she's too relaxed to get up and come here. For 29,500 some hours on it, still running pretty good. Other than the fact that we're spinning 16,000 pounds of feed at less than 650 RPMs. But this tractor starts at five in the morning and usually runs till about noon. It does that seven days a week. 365 days a year. This thing don't get a break. Two more oil, oil changes and it'll be at 30,000 hours. We got my silage from the back side of the pile brought around. Now I'm dumping it here. Like 
the backup camera and having a gate on the back of the feeder wagon. It's a lot quicker than unloading on the front and then you gotta deal with the spout. That's the bottleneck here just free falls out. That'll be it for feeding cows. So if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe and God bless.